Hello and welcome to Rauta. Today we talk about Kazakhstan. Yes, if you're an average metalhead like me, you probably don't know even a band from Kazakhstan. Well, I know one band and it just happens to be my favorite band. And this is not some mediocre band, this is actually a good band. This one is called Zaraza and the EP or MCD we have here is called Rotten Remains. Last year I was happy to get the debut album called Necro Shiva for review and that proved to be very nice uh, dead trash groove metal hybrid with really really good production I mean the kind of a reference level of production that so many bands from extreme metal could be like looking up at like, like hey we need this kind of a sound I don't know what is going on in Kazakhstan what Zarasa has or what, what kind of a material or studio or how many money or talent they have but that sound i mean it was killing it is that great now things seem to be going on here in the same way as before because this also just happens to be really great sounding uh trash death kind of a groovy metal hybrid now I know some of you are as allergic to hybrid metal as I most of an am, but let me tell you, the groove metal part is not that essential here, it's more like a seasoning. And the main foundation with the band is more or less trash and death metal combined, maybe with more focus on death, but it kind of depends on the song in question. It's clear that this band is taking a lot of influence from American type of uh, death metal because some of those riffs are not exactly maybe original but they are very much uh, related to some ideas that better known bands have been doing as you can see this one includes kind of a poster slash lyrics sheet and I must say I really enjoy it. not only the colors but obviously the image here look at this gas mask face okay um, so Zaraz is good in what they do the type of uh, extreme metal is very very nicely executed and the production is just well top-notch the growly vocals are strong and it seems like this band is off yes, is off international levels uh, with my previous uh, review of the you know the Negroshiva album which is not on Raw any unfortunately I was basically pointing out that this band should have already a record deal from a bigger company because I mean everything there is that great quality that it kind of deserves it and to my surprise it is still self-financing maybe bands I mean labels don't actually um, believe in Kazakhstan bands or maybe Zarasa have some weird plans by themselves which is this is self-financed so it's not likely that you will have this any distress you can see there's only this barcode and no label marks whatsoever but i think if you are into death metal if you're into trash metal if you're into death trust specifically this is something that you should not skip really really strong sounding album with really skilled talented musicians creating this wonderful extreme metal there are little bit like th little things which i'd rather see polished I would say that this band needs to a little bit progress even more to make a real killer album, but still, it's great extreme metal for people who understand what skilled musicianship and strong production is made of. So, uh, challenge your prejudice, give Kazakhstan band a chance, Zaraz is here to kill, and it's a good one. Thank you for watching, see you soon with more other stuff coming your way.